Hey guys and gals of YouTube, how y'all done? Hey boy, they have the Lego Star Wars set, the Tanta V4. This is from the uh, 25th anniversary, the uh, 18 plus set. Before we got into that, I dug out this one from a storage, kind of storage. It's a 2009 Playskill set, came originally with Captain Antilles. They use these window pieces in the front, which the white doesn't quite match, but it's, it's a rather pleasant set. It's a fairly fragile one. Um, the one from 2019, actually, I prefer, but this has definitely got some pretty cool features. This is pretty yellowed. It's an eBay one. I don't think this one came with Cap Antilles. Oops, I just broke it. Um, but it does have, see what I mean? It does have this cool interior with Princess Leia in there, um, and that works. These pieces here tend to fall off. They fixed this in the 2019 set, I believe it was. Um, and the side sponsors here, they made them into like escape hatches, which is not correct at all, but it adds a play scale because, uh, or play feature rather, because C-3PO and R2-D2 do fit in there. I'm not going to even try to reattach it on camera because I'll probably drop something. It'll be very embarrassing for me and make me look and feel, yeah, very badly about myself. I did add Captain Antilles and the, uh, one of the other figures, and that's just, like I said, this is a Playscale model. It's pretty nice. It's it, it works really good. I like the engine detail, and I like the overall heft of it. And this is kind of curious. In fact, this just lays on top, but because it folds down, it's fairly secure. Um, but like I said, with all the the evolution of LEGO sets, they uh, you can see how they've become more solid over the years, and albeit better. But there's definitely a charm to 2009. I still kind of see that as sort of the golden era of some of the really great sets and some really great ideas. And let's say like we're going into another one now, so it's kind of cool. But I'm going to set this aside before I drop anything else off of it. And the uh, new set here. Um, where's my thing at? 75356 which our local Walmart did have several of these in stock. I th in fact, they had four of them, but I'd picked this up at Fred Meyer. Uh, it does have stickers. These are stickers on the end here. It is a much more scaled looking model. Um, sticker detail here. Thankfully, this is actually a printed plate, which again brings up, why can't we do sticker detail or rather printed details? So this is also a printed piece here. It doesn't really attach anything. I guess you just set it next to the model. The ship can be changed um, around. That's it. It's, it's very secure, as you can see. Extremely secure. Yeah. But this piece goes up inside of here. It is supposed to be fairly attached. Um, it is... <laughs> it is just studs. <coughs> they went through radiator dish. I just... Popped it off, went somewhere on the floor. It just pins in here. It's a spigot piece, so it's not the most secure, but this does rotate. The uh, turret detail up front here is pretty nice. Um, as well, sir, so there are no opening features inside, but the overall look, the greebling, the engine detail, and it's quite, quite sturdy, like <clears throat> it's sandwiched levels of plate. It's quite sturdy inside, and it's quite heavy. Um, I think, I think I'm actually going to leave it put this way. But, um, it just pins down. You could have probably changed it to point the other way, but I don't think it would be as stable. And this is, a uh, bricks laid on their side to create this very glossy base. It's a pretty nice looking model. Um, I do really like it. it. The instructions were just basically quite, I did a live stream feed of building part of this. And it came with quite a generous number of pieces. In fact, for fun, I think. Oh, no, I can't. I was about to say, maybe I could just replace the radiator piece or the radar dish. But I don't have that uh, jumper plate. But here's a stud piece, a little spigot. It just slips up into here. And you'll see why it, it's kind of easy to break. But there it is. Uh, these are more scaled looking to the Playscale one from back in 2009. Although, like I said, the Playscale one has some definite play, play, play value to it. It has a control panel printed inside. There's C-3PO. 
There's R2-D2, the old style 2009 cartoon you can R2-D2, which actually I really like. And uh, but then comparison of the two sets and uh, really appreciate the views out there and the great community. And I know some of you all said that you're having trouble finding this set, but there should be, they should become available. I haven't, uh, this, the one that's been proved hard for me is the Millennium Falcon, which I've seen one copy of it and I haven't seen it since. But uh, this one right here has been available. The boarding of the Tantive is another one that's been hard to get for here. I did manage to get one, but anyways, enough yapping about that. And just, there it is. There's a set, nice sturdy feel to it. And uh, appreciate the views till next time. Ciao.